an interministerial framework to guide social activities, particularly around gender, is urgently required to check the environmental impact of oil extraction. A new study reveals that the impact of oil extraction on water, air and land is largely felt by women. So that's why we are here with the Ministry of Gender to raise these concerns that have come out of our research. That if nothing is done now, 10, 20 years from now, we shall look back and lament at how much impact the oil industry has had on women and gender relations and on the social impact of, of the oil industry that has been largely uh, 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 not talked about. Government should come out and support the Ministry of Gender to go out and do awareness. The, much focus has been on the Ministry of Energy, but that's okay because it was at, during the exploration phase. Now that the oil industry is going to start really uh, directly affecting people's lives and livelihoods, it needs an inter-ministerial approach. International Alert, the organization behind the study, Gender Issues in Uganda's Oil and Gas Sector, emphasizes that an action plan by government should reconsider land rights, among others. In Uganda, used to own just land six by six feet on their desk. That was the land the women owned. Now, as I say, we are still a long way, but at least 39% of the women now have co-ownership titles, titled land. This is one of the reasons you have moved to those oil, oil regions, because you know that we shall be People will be on our necks, even ourselves. What are you doing about the women? The report also recommends priority action areas to include a national content policy with special consideration for the needs of the women in all areas. There must be awareness, awareness creation. Then uh, I think there must be sensitization regarding what would be the benefits. That's why we were saying that even currently, the expectation is we need to manage expectations highly because you find that everyone, even those who don't have land in the regions where oil was discovered, are fearing that Uganda should get rich.